How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace fuel injectors. This is an old one. That's a new one. I'm not replacing the injectors in this episode. I check my injectors. Everything works good. I'm just bringing this episode so you know how to do it. And because I'm going to show you how to replace them, I'm going to link in the description these injectors in case that you need one. And because I'm going to remove the injectors, you need a new kit of all rings to replace all the old rings on the injectors. So link is going to be in the description for both. First thing that you need to do, get to your trunk, remove your trunk carpet. There is three screws holding the plate for the fuel pump. Remove those. Once you open the lid, there is a connector that goes into the fuel pump, disconnect that. On the connector, there is only one tab, pull on the tab and pull out the connector. Next step, to release pressure from the fuel tank, open your gas cap. Now that you unplug the fuel pump connector and open the gas cap, turn on the car to take all the fuel out of the lines, out of the injectors, out of the whole system. Okay, so pressure is being taken out of the system. Now we can go into the engine and remove the injectors. After you did this process and the car just died because it doesn't have fuel no more, disconnect the negative side of your battery. To begin with this process, I have here the fuel pressure regulator, two 10 millimeter bolts, you need to remove those to get the fuel pressure regulator out of the way. There is no fuel pressure in the line but get a rack in case that you have fuel around the area. Okay, fuel pressure regulator is being disconnected. Now, we can disconnect the EGR, give us a little bit more room, and then you can disconnect the fuel injectors. You have a little clip on the side, press on it, and disconnect the fuel injectors and this is what I'm talking about on this one is damaged but you have a little clip in here press on it pull out the connector the fourth one is kind of tight but you can do it with both fingers now that we have more room there is two 10 millimeter holding the rail in place For the bolt on the mounting bracket on this side, we have this hose in the way, so we have to remove it with the wrench. It's gonna be easier because you can put a socket in there. Once you have the little 10 millimeter nuts out of the bracket that holds the rail in place, just pull the fuel rail, it's gonna come out with injectors. Be careful on this process. On this side, I had to remove the bracket that holds the wire in place, that holds this wire to give me more access because there is a hose in the way. So once you remove that, and be careful when you do this process, you can remove the rail. I have a 14 millimeter wrench. I have to remove the little bolts where the bracket holds in place because it's on the way to remove the rail. So with the 14 millimeter, I'm gonna show you in a minute. 
what I'm talking about. Okay, there is two. This is a 40 millimeter. You just attach to the intake manifold, and in this side is where you attach the fuel rail. Remove these two, and you're gonna have better access to remove the fuel rail. Okay, once you remove those two bolts, I think we have enough room now to remove the fuel rail. Okay, that's the fuel rail. Only one injector gets stuck into the intake. Okay, just don't pull it too hard, wiggle it around and then pull it up. My injectors are in pretty good shape, but because I remove them, probably I'm gonna have leaks if I put them back on like that. So I'm gonna replace all the old rings on the fuel injectors. Everything looks really good and clean where the injectors go. And because we don't have to remove the fuel rail, we don't have to disconnect anything else. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove one by one so I can swap all the O-rings. I'm gonna take the first one, take it to the table, and remove all the O-rings. I don't wanna remove them all and have them mixed up. I'm gonna put them back where they belong. This is why I'm doing one by one. Okay guys, first, I'm gonna clean the injector. Always use gloves when you're working with fuel. Be careful, don't pull this part because you might damage it. Now that we have the injector clean, I'm gonna grab my kit, open it up with a little pick and hook. Let's remove the first one, which is gonna be the one on top. On this injector, this one stays in the car, so be careful. This is the one that goes right here. Once you remove the first one, then you can pull out the second one. Okay, compare the new one and the old one. So first you're gonna put this one in place, then you can put the new green o-ring okay so this part is being swapped on the bottom remove this one it's out of the way grab the new one put it in place for this kit we don't have this one new but when you put the injector it's gonna seal with this one too so hopefully we don't have any leaks if we do, I'm gonna have to run to the store and replace this one. As long as we have the one on top that goes to the rail and all the other ones new, hopefully we don't have any leaks on the bottom. But I believe not because we have this one swap already. Okay, this injector is ready. You can put a little tin of brand new engine oil around the O-rings so you have a good seal. In this case, if you don't have engine oil around you can put a little bit of fuel into it so you don't have any leaks now that we have it like that we can go and mount this one into the fuel rail first fuel injector is ready in place now we can remove the second one And do the same process. I'm not gonna show you this part, it's the same once I get everything ready. I'm gonna put it back on the car, okay? Just to finish, everything is being swapped. I'm gonna put some fuel into the bottom of the rings so they go nice and easy when you put them back on. Now we can put the rail back into its place to put the rail back on it was easy for me to remove this one so I have more room and the rail is on 
right here you're gonna see the bolt or the rail you're gonna have to torque this down to 102 inch pound not foot pounds 102 inch pound for those two for the fuel pressure regulator the bolts they're gonna be torqued down to 108 inch pound so I have my small torque wrench I had it set at 102 inch pound to torque down those two then I'm going for those to 108 inch pound once you torque it down those bolts make sure that you plug in your injectors connect your EGR everything that you disconnect put it back on then we're going to the next step okay guys battery is being connected check and double check because it's fuel if you spray some fuel somewhere in there clean it throw water in it or soapy water make sure there is no fuel around make sure everything is clean fuel pump is being connected now i'm gonna prime the system for like 10 seconds so we can get fuel back into the line and injectors and then i'm gonna start the car and check for leaks Now that I prime the system, I'm checking for leaks, but I'm ready to start the car. guys so this is the process to replace injectors or one of your o-rings is busted and your injectors are leaking this is the way to replace the o-rings fuel injectors o-rings a uh, small torque range everything that you see in this episode is going to be linked in the description i hope you like this little episode guys thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment down below i'm going to be happy to help thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.